What's up everyone, my name is Daniel, and in so many words, welcome back to my Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made our way here to Rustboro City, and we are going to challenge the gym leader, but first I want to stop here at the Cutter's house, because I believe we can get cut real quick. Yep. We get HM01, which is the HM for cut, which, uh, which we will need to get through some obstacles in the game, but we can't use it without the Rustboro City Gym Badge. So it's a good thing that we're in Rustboro. Uh, anyway, as I uh, hopefully remember to put it at the beginning of this video, I did some grinding. Now everyone is at level 10, and one major difference is that Weevil, formerly our Wormpole slash Silcoon, is now a Beautifly, and it learned Absorb upon evolving. So we now have three Pokemon with grass type moves that will be very effective in the rock type gym that we are about to challenge. Uh, I just sort of wish that, um, I believe this is the trainer's school, yep. I just sort of wish that my Wurmple had evolved into a Cascoon and then a Dustox so I could keep with the Weevil joke and say it's the perfectly ultimate Great Moth, but oh well. <laughs> anyway, Rustboro City Gym, our first gym in this playthrough. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? Yes. I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. What? What's settled? What did we settle on? I don't remember selling on anything. I don't remember even saying anything. Can't get in a word edgewise with you. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. That's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne. Roxanne. You don't have to put... Uh, I made that joke already. Alright. <laughs> uh, Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand water and grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Alright. Now, I believe I could skip the gym trainers here, but I am going to battle them just because you don't get a second chance to battle any of the gym uh, trainers if you skip over them. Like, once you beat the gym leader, all the gym trainers uh, will no longer battle you, so... 
I think I should. I think I should battle all the gym trainers. Not only for the experience, but also just for the fact that I won't get to if I don't, if I skip over them. So, uh, anyway, we're battling this youngster, this first gym trainer, with a level 10 Geo dude where I'm just killing with mischief. If you haven't figured it out, like, Mischief and Fiesta Duck are going to be, like, the two-star players in this gym with with Weevil maybe as a backup now that it knows Absorb. But Mischief grew to level 11. And it learned Quick Attack. Nice. Not going to help us uh, not gonna help us out very much in this gym, considering it's a Rock-type gym. But it's good to have for future reference. All right, let's go around you. Oh, I believe we have a double battle coming up, so... Let's go ahead and make sure that Fiesta Duck is in slot number two. Battling a youngster and a hiker. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage. All right, we got a youngster and a hiker. Youngster Tommy and a uh, hiker Mark. Pardon me. We got two Geo dudes. I think it might just have Geo dudes. I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and absorb the fuck out of both of you. There's a, uh, there goes one Geo dude. I would say, oh, I can't talk today, but I've said that in literally every episode. So, <laughs> yeah, I think they just, I think they literally just have Geo dudes. It's not a very good strategy. I mean, I know you're specializing in a type, but to not only have just one type of Pokemon, but to have literally the exact same Pokemon covering your entire team, that's not good. It's a very questionable strategy at best. Yet you literally just have Geodudes. I'm overusing the word literally, but seriously. It's not like I'm exaggerating. They actually do just have Geodudes, and they're all level 8. I'm sure they all have the exact same moveset, too. So... Anyway, we're just absorbing them half to hell. And there goes Fiesta Duck, leveling up to level 11. I'm, I'm hoping either Mischief or Fiesta Duck will evolve uh, in this gym, considering they're going to be doing pretty much all the leg work. Defeated Youngster Tommy and Hiker Mark. Wow, you've got some potential. And you don't. Oh man, oh man, our challenger is one feisty customer. Got 448 Poké Dollars for winning. Gotta go around you jerks. You're blocking the way. Oh, I guess I could have gone around. Ugh, I didn't see it. Get off my ass, alright? <laughs> alright, we're about to battle Roxanne. Let me make sure I got full HP here. Can't be too safe, alright? Alright, Roxanne. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokémon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Sure. Demonstrate all, all up in this place. Demonstrate like no one's ever demonstrated before. But not without drinking water first. I'm not gonna demonstrate when I'm dehydrated. <laughs> anyway. Absorb! Oh, Rock Tomb. This might present an issue. Th this is uh, Roxanne's signature move. I believe also the TM that you get from her uh, upon defeating her is Rock Tomb. It's a rock type attack that uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it lowers your opponent's speed. So if you're the type that likes to lower stats and you're, you're worried about uh, outspeeding your opponent, could be a decent move early on, especially if you need a rock type move for something like a Geo dude. But anyway, one Geo dude down, I'm sure. Another one to go. Mischief grew to level 13. But since it's just no Geo dude, I think I'll let Fiesta Duck have this one. It's one of my favorite Gym Leader themes. It really is. It's like like this and the Gen 2 Gym Leader theme I think are my favorites. Jeez, 
Freaking potions all day with Roxanne. And oh, it didn't even matter because I got a critical. Nice. I mean, hopefully Fiesta Duck levels up from this. And he will. Fiesta Duck, we're to level 12. Alright, I'm gonna switch back out to Mischief to take out Nose Pass. Nose Pass uh, is only gonna have only gonna have times two weakness to grass and not times four because I believe it's a pure rock type, whereas uh, Geodude is a uh, rock and ground. Which is where it gets the double weakness from. But it's still gonna be weak to absorb, so. And it's still good that Mischief leveled up to level 13 because this is level 15, and that did almost nothing. I'm kinda worried. This is... this could be trouble. Just keep draining its life. Just keep draining its life forever. Unless it rock tombs you. Ah! Oh, oh, that, that did more than I thought. That did more than I expected. Oh, I forgot to give Mr. Van Oren. Crap, now I can't escape. Can't switch out now. Hopefully I won't have to. Hopefully, if I can get a critical, that would be great. Because otherwise I'm aw, oh, you fucking have a berry. Seriously? Your trainer's already spamming potions. You you do not need a fucking orange berry. Okay? That's overkill. That's a bit much there, nose pass. Jeez, critical hit, but even so, why would you use Tackle and Rock Tomb like did you so well before? Do you only want to lower my speed once? And that was it? Speed of how much damage you've done to me, I gotta I gotta heal real quick. Oh by the way, just those antidotes and stuff that are in my bag now, I bought those off screen. Not that it matters right now, because uh I'm really worried about what may happen here. Oh. Mm. Seriously, I'm just, I am spamming now. I, I don't even care. My speed is dead. I I've got no speed. Frankly, I'm just getting lucky that Nose Pass is like not getting any criticals. Ugh, fuck. Oh, thank you! Finally missed! Okay. Now I have an opening of fucking attack. And of course, you use Tackle instead of Rock Tomb, which has only missed once so far. Because that's smart. Yeah. Honor student at the trainer school, right? My most effective attack missed once. Better switch to tackle. Quick attack. I knew it was a good thing I learned that. <laughs> yes. By sheer dumb luck. And I am spamming. Mischief has defeated Nose Pass. Grown to level 14. And we defeated Roxanne for the stone badge. Yes. <laughs> So, I lost. Yeah, you fucking did. It seems that I still have much more to learn. Yeah, you fucking do. I understand. No, you fucking don't. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Yes, they fucking do. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. Yes, I fucking will. Got 1,500 Poke Dollars for winning. Aw, this ship didn't evolve. So, probably make a couple more levels. Anyway, we got the Stone Badge from Roxanne, which means now we can use Cut outside of battle. And we also get the TM for Rock Tomb, I believe. Yes! Get the Rock Tomb TM. Alright, go ahead and make our way out of this gym. First of all, let's talk to this guy since he was so gung-ho. Well, what a breathtaking victory! My cheering must have worked! Great, check your trainer card. The stone badge you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step uh, uh, on the stairs to the championship. It's gotta feel awesome. 
kind of does, but I don't know what the fuck you did. But yeah, as you can see, we now have our stone badge. Huzzah. If I could stop flipping around my freaking trainer card, that'd be nice. Um, but yeah, go ahead and heal real quick. Whoa! Events. Things are happening. Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Oh no, someone stole the Jeremy Piven movie with Dr. Ken. About used cars, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Is that what that was about? The goods? Was it about like a like a car dealership or some other such bullshit? I don't know. I just know that Dr. Ken and Jeremy Piven in it, and then it led to like one of like the worst guest hosted Raws ever. Anyone watch wrestling? No? Okay. <laughs> Anywho. We have defeated Roxanne, we have gotten our first badge, and we're now talking to this douche. Oh, who might you be? You're a new face around these parts. Have you just transferred to the Pokemon Trainer School? No, but I think I'm gonna go check that out now. Hey, Mr. Teacher Man. Students who don't get, uh, don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Wow. Are you, are you saying you abuse your students? Are you saying you use the quick claw to beat your students when they don't study? Is that what you're implying here? Because that's not cool, man. Is this just okay in the Pokemon universe? My god, adults cannot be trusted anywhere. Anyway, uh, Pokemon heal, uh, holding a b- uh, I should just give up talking. <laughs> there are many kinds of items that Pokemon can hold. Boy, it is sure hard taking notes down. I'm training Pokemon with my friend right now. You know how some Pokemon moves can confuse a Pokemon? The confused Pokemon will attack itself without meaning to. But once it leaves battle, it will return to normal. Pokemon can hold items, but they don't know what to do with man-made items like potion and antidotes. They don't know how to use drugs, you have to administer them. Oh, this jagoff. Hello? Didn't we meet before? I think back in Pedalburg City. Let me introduce myself. My name is Scott. Oh, now I can put a name to the asshole. I've been traveling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I'm looking for Pokemon battle experts. Oh, what's that? It's a stone badge, isn't it? It's pretty impressive, I'd say, for a starting trainer like yourself. Well, aren't you a smarmy dick? But you know, I would have loved to see you in battle. It's hard to tell what you're like as a trainer from a league badge. But it's hard to tell what kind of person you are from those douchey sunglasses that you're apparently wearing indoors. And I'm losing my mind because I already healed. <laughs> Why am I going back to the Pokemon Center? I don't know. Um... But yeah, now we have uh, defeated Roxanne, we can go ahead and put uh, probably Nightwolf out front. Uh, because Nightwolf really needs to learn some other moves, so it needs to be leveled up. If for no other reason it needs to be leveled up than, than to learn something other than Tackle. During the grinding montage, it did level up and learn a move, but it was fucking Sand Attack. It's like the exact opposite of what I needed. Great. See what this item is up here. Super potion, really good drugs. Anyway. Let's make our way over here. I believe this is Route one, uh, 115, excuse me. Can I go any further? No, I cannot. So, I think we have to actually go east. Yep, here we go. Here's the Devon guy. Oh, it's you! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Pedalburg Woods. Help me! I was robbed by Team Aqua! I have to get the Devon Goods back! If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Alright, fine. Let's do yet another adult's job for them. As we go into Route 116. And I think real quick we'll, uh... The episode should uh, be over pretty soon, because uh, like I said before, I want to keep these kind of around 20 minutes, but... Uh, I think we have time to get this item down here, maybe see what we can catch on Route 116. Yes! Ninkata! Yes! Oh my god, I need this. Everyone shut up. <laughs> Everyone shut up. I need this. Nightwolf, I swear to god, if you knock this out, I will never forgive you. 
It doesn't look like that's going to happen because that barely did anything. Um, okay, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really excited. I really want a Ninkata, mainly because I want a Ninjask. Because Ninjask has speed boost, and that is a, a super good ability. It boosts your, uh, boosts your speed every single turn. And if you wonder why people hate seeing, like, Blaziken, especially Mega Blaziken now, in competitive battles in, like, uh, Pokemon X and Y, it's because Mega Blaziken with speed boost it is so broken. But yeah, Speed Boost is a really good ability, so uh, I would really like to have a Ninjask, which means I need to catch this Ninkata, which means it needs to stop being so difficult. Alright, uh, halfway down, I think it should be good enough. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's use the Premier Ball that I got for free by buying a bunch of Pokeballs that one time. See if this works. Yes! Haha! <laughs> got a Ninkata! Ninkata, the trainee Pokemon. It makes its nest at the roots of a mighty tree. Using its whiskers like antennae, it probes its surroundings in the pitch black darkness of soil. And let's go ahead and give a nickname to Ninkata. And because Ninjask is uh, obviously uh, meant to sort of look like a ninja, I think we'll give it a nickname suitable to that uh, aesthetic. And we will call you... Well, since you're a female... I'll call you Sakura, after I believe a character from Naruto. But yeah, let's go ahead and grab this item real quick. So I think that about does it for this episode. We defeated Roxanne, we're going after Team Aqua, and we cut ourselves a Ninkata, which I'm really excited about. So in the next episode, we will go and get the Devin Goods back, and I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.